Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of the American in Germany, and today I have Masterson, 10-year-old, 100% rye whiskey, finished in Hungarian oak. Now, you'll be able to find a few different whiskey videos online about Masterson, but I haven't seen any yet about the Hungarian oak or the French oak or the American oak finishes. Whiskey Base 101292, and this is actually from the Alberta Distillery, so it's Canadian, 100% rye whiskey. Now, three badges, beverage and or three badges mixology. I'm not sure about their name because they use both somehow. Um, they're in California, and they actually brought out the Masterson. They bought it, they bought, they, they bought it, they bottled it, and they distributed it. And this is a very, very interesting thing because this um, is made with Hungarian oak. Hungarian oak on Latin, the Latin words is Quercus Petrea, also Q-U-E-R-C-U-Z. English, British would be Z. And the P-E-T-R-A-E-A, -E -A, a very slow growing oak from Hungary. And afterwards, they're cut into the staves, and these staves are actually air-dried um, for a minimum of two-plus years outside. Now, William Masterson, the name of this, um, the name giver of this whiskey, was also called Bat. He was a um, hunter, he was a soldier, he was a gambler, and also he was a journalist. And the funny part about his life is, I don't know, it's funny, but he actually died typing an article into his typewriter. So he was passionate and dedicated up until his last breath about writing. And that's the reason why on each and every bottle you see him in one of his different jobs or one of his different um, professions. So 100% rye whiskey from Alberta Distilleries. Let's take a look. 45%. Over here in Germany, it's 80 euros, which would put in the States maybe about a hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good rye. Oh, it's been a long time since I've, since I've had some good ryes. So what I do is I just open the bottle up, put it in the little glass here, and I just try it. I don't spend a lot of time with it beforehand. I don't have my tasting notes. It's just live here in front of the camera. Now what I do do is I make a German video first and then I do my English video afterwards. Maybe if I have more subscribers in English than I do in German, I will one day actually make, make the videos first of all in English and then second of all in German. But right now German's my main market for my video. So, oh, it's so good. With rye, I sometimes differentiate between a very, very light rye, which I call the yellow, call the color yellow, and a very dark rye, which be like a burnt orange, almost a red. And this goes towards the orange, but not yet. And it's, it's almost perfect. The wood is there, almost perfect. A little bit of alcohol is there, almost perfect. The sweetness of the whiskey is there, almost perfect. This is a really, really good whiskey to nose. I just love it. If you love rye. Now, if you're looking for a sweet bourbon or you're looking for a malt, it's it's not a single malt. It's not a bourbon. It's a rye. And you get that rye punch in your nose and it says, hi, I'm rye. And I'm very, very nice. It's very nice to meet you. It's almost polite like some Canadians are. <laughs> Sorry about that little jab there, my Canadian friends. Oh, it's good. Did you see the transitions? Oh, it comes into your mouth very, very, very high level, very fruity, very nice. A little bit of eucalyptus, a little bit of menthol, a lot of rye. And then it transitions. That wood kicks in. That that Ike, that Ike, that it's German Ike. That's very. That's so even Platt. That's low German. Um, that oak, even that Hungarian oak, kicks in. And there's a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of sweetness, and towards the end. That's a long-lasting mm, mouthful of goodness. I'm going to give this an A-. minus. Yay! A-, minus. finally, people. Wow, very, very good. I haven't had a, a, a rye like this since 
by Van Winkle, 13-year-old rye. It's been a while. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to try a little bit. One more sip here. Hmm. What I like to do, I like to have samples. I like to have, I like to compare things. This is my favorite rye for every day. This is a Lot 40, a rye Canadian. It's 90% um, rye and 10% barley. Now, some people would actually, ooh, that was a very heavy pour. Yay. Um, some people would actually say it's 90% um, unmalted barley or malted barley and 10% unmalted malted barley. I found both online. So let's just say it's 90% rye and 10% then um, barley. And um, I just love this. This is one of my favorite ryes ever. And it's about 38 euros over here. It's about 42 bucks. About half the price of this. All right. So let's just nose this real quick. Oh, oh this, is, this is almost the perfection of rye. But the one thing that's missing is that really strong um, note of oak. It's just not there. There's a lot of the grain, there's a little bit of the whiskey, there's some of the sweetness, but it's just that oak is missing. This, on the other hand, whoops, I need some more. This has that oak. Oh, it's it's richer, it's mature, more mature. It's um it's a little bit more. I think the word complex is not right because it's, that is more complex. There's actually more going on at more levels here, but this is just a little bit more eloquent. Not sophisticated, but eloquent. Nice. Mm. I think uh, this has more oak. I really like this in the nose a little bit better, to be honest. Let's, let's try this first and go back to that. Mmm. It's like a bomb of rye, of eucalyptus, of menthol, of grain, of sweetness, of alcohol. I just love this stuff. I have if if you have never tried the Lot 40 rye Canadian whiskey, please do. It's got to be one of the best um, I've ever had. That's affordable. Now going back to the Masterson, ten-year-old Hungarian oak finish rye. So, nice nose, very nice nose. Mmm, mmm. I really like my whiskey when I start chewing it. Mmm. What's left on my palate, it's just on the gums. It's not down in the throat, it doesn't burn it. It's just all here in the gums, and it's so good. Oh. I'm going to give it a B minus for the value of price, an A minus for the taste. And in spite of its $100 price tag or 80 euro price tag, I'm still going to give it a B minus, which is, I think, the first time I've given such an expensive whiskey that high of a go and try to find it and buy it. Masterson, 10 year old Hungarian oak finish whiskey, Jason, view for, whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany says, yay, please find it. Very, very nice. If that's too pricey, go get the Lot 40. It's almost as good or even as good as, just different, and it's half the price. Good stuff. All right, thank you. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I publish my videos. Please like, please subscribe, please tell others about this weird guy in the Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Rye whiskeys, Canadian risk whiskeys, American bourbons, German whiskeys, Irish whiskeys, Japanese whiskeys soon, and so on. Thank you very much for watching. And my question of the day is, what is your favorite rye whiskey? Hmm. I would say for the price, the lot 40. If I could get anything in the world, Van Winkel 13-year-old rye. That is the pinnacle of whiskey experiences in my personal opinion. What's yours? Thank you for writing. See you. Bye-bye.